it's 4 p.m. on a Monday. Time to get a uh, fun, fun day? I don't know. It's a happy hour time, baby. Welcome, welcome. Joining us as always, Bonnie the Invisible Wife. How you doing, Bonnie? Hi, I am good. Really good. Boy, I gotta uh, tell you my dream, you guys. I all right, weird go, no, no, dream. No, no. go straight into it. What go, do you got? Okay. All we right. were all at this wedding. It was a wedding. Okay. Who's all of us? Who? It was all of us. All you and Ashley was right. there. Can, can yeah. I place okay. a bet? Yeah. Like the number one question is who is getting married? And I'll bet you anything you don't even remember. No, there wasn't like a person getting married, right? Called so, it. Called it. For it some was, reason, the important part is that we were at a wedding. Right. Doesn't yeah. matter who the wedding was. Doesn't. Yeah. That part wasn't important. So, but uh, we are all like performing somehow. Like we all had like some kind oh, of. It was um, a gig. It was a gig, but it was like somebody that we cared about, kind of thing, right? But it okay, was a gig. So we were like doing, we were like doing a thing at a friend's wedding. Right, right. It was like gotcha. a friend's wedding. And oh my god. What were we doing? What was our act? <gasps> okay, well, Justin and Ashley had was on stage. Wearing, and I think this is because I've seen y'all's dinosaur costumes, like okay. you guys, and y'all look yeah. really cute, like holding hands at a sunset. Oh, that's or, right. Did didn't you guys run around yeah. Lake Merritt wearing dinosaur costumes? We indeed did. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We so had our, big, I, our, our PPE. Wait, yes. Oh yeah. So that that somehow I think entered my subconscious, and then but you guys were on stage in a costume that was like you know those squish foams. That like are tiny toys that kids, you know, they you might use them for like stress, but now they became toys. Like people sure. collect these yeah. toys and they're squish yeah. bones. And um, um, but it was a giant costume, like ten feet tall, and y'all were both dongs. Like <laughs> you were both up nice. there. Sorry. And they squish were, they foam, were, squish foam dongs. But very playful, like they could almost be on a children's program if you didn't know what they were. Like you would think they gotcha. were a toy. Sorry, just that, real quick. Walk yeah. me through in what situation you walk into the living room and see any of our children watching a children's program no. in which there's a giant squish foam dong. Oh, okay. Dude, dude, imagine imagine like a big like any kind of big cylinder, right? Like kind of like those like happy right. inflatable like guys outside of a, a sure sure a, 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 a thing, right? A, a car dealership or something, and then barely, right? I'm imagining in Bonnie's dream, like there are carve outs for like the head, but like very subtle. It's more just kind of like a, a bald wacky character, and then maybe two big clown feet. You can get to yeah. kids show dick super easy. See, see, see and I guess in my mind, <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm imagining like a, 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 a Winston Churchill, like giant jowls that sort of come together <laughs> yeah, yeah, with a yeah, couple yeah. of googly eyes on top. Giant jowls and a, and a pursed lip to right. indicate his, his severity. We will fight them okay. in the vaginas. We will fight them between the breasts. We will fight them in the mouth. Depending on how drunk she is, we'll fight them between the cheeks. <laughs> like, like, I think, uh, is, is, is that, is that what we're thinking? Uh, okay. Well, there's no face. There's okay. just these foamy shapes. Okay. And they are cheerful and kind of kid colors, but like, like, like kids, pink, like little kid colors, I guess it was really good. Yeah. But yeah, right. <laughs> anyways, mm -hmm. they had, they had a mics on inside and they were talking like very much like, um, this is the bride and the groom. No, uh, Justin and Ashley were doing some kind Justin of Justin and Ashley with but their new know, act. With their new act. Like, this was is, the performance. Is Ashley available? Can, can we audition this act? <laughs> uh, no, considering the last time uh, she was very stern with me that uh, this is working time for her. And I okay. can't just scream and rope her in. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. But, but more specifically, she doesn't appreciate... Like, like, respect her art, respect her craft. Don't make her audition. Don't you? you... No, yeah, she's greenlit right to the right, yes. right, right to okay. the stage. Right, she's right. not like, auditioning. Like, yeah. either, either it's a lock deal or it's not. She doesn't. Yeah, sing for her supper. Got yeah, it. exactly. Unless she's in my dream as a sure. Okay. But so in like, your so what, dream, what was, what was she's the rest auditioning. Of the dream. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, I don't. 
know what y'all said because I was okay. now I, I'm aware that y'all are up there doing your act and it's going like gangbusters. Well, never, like, never, <laughs> never give up. Right. And then uh and then my attention is now drawn to um well at some point somebody was like wanting me to catch a fish that they had on the line. So okay just so uh, I know some people are just showing up. Yeah. You Dream. were fascinated by the fact mm -hmm. that Justin and Ashley were dressed in foam as foam dicks. Right. Uh, nine feet then, tall. Nine feet tall. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right. Uh, kinda, got like, a hard time clearing doorways. Yeah. You're yeah. going to need some help. It was a big, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But then you got distracted. Yeah. Because, because somebody decided that they were catching a fish and it was part of the act somehow. And I'm supposed to catch the fish off of it. And I was like, I'm all dressed up. I don't want to do this. Nasty. And then I grabbed it. And then and like you the say tail you're all dressed came up, off. Yeah. But what were you wearing? I don't know. Like fancy dress stuff. Like, like wedding, wedding, wedding shit. Wedding stuff. Okay. Like nice dress. Yellow like... dress or whatever. And then yeah. it gets all like stained with the fish blood that <laughs> came so off. Wait, so wait, so somebody like, was okay, doing so like, I didn't is like this my like. Role. like is this like a street performer thing or is it like a Pike's fish market thing? Like, like, how would you describe it? I don't know, but it was poorly done. So it was some ramshackle <laughs> so, shit. Hold on. Sorry, 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 sorry. Are you, that are you, are you giving like a bad review to your own dream? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I gotta say that part of the act could have gone. I don't know how I got stuck with the, that role. I didn't even know. They didn't even tell me I was going to have to do it. I just showed up. I thought I was watching. Suddenly I'm part of the act. And then I was like, oh gross so now i have stinky fish hands but then um brian comes out with his I, like you finished your set you and ashley finished your set and then brian mm -hmm. comes out still don't know who the wedding was for yeah no but it I was mean, a gig there was never a bride and groom that ever came up on stage yeah it was a wedding ashley and justin did their bit which was to walk out in giant dick costumes right now next up brian and then Brian is doing his act like in like you were doing your fire eating thing like you the dance version of it. What a and what then, a tremendous commitment yeah. to your act, Brian. That <laughs> even in a dream scenario where you could fly or transform into some mythical beast, you're doing the history of fire. No, 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 no. I'm doing the dance He's version. He's doing the dance version. That's which is, true. oh, I'm sorry. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. This is indeed a limitless imagination. <laughs> You've now added dance steps to the history of fire. Eating. Well, that's how it started. So, <laughs> wait a minute. History of fire reading used to be a dance? Yeah. It did. It did. What? Yes. How have I never heard of this? Yep. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. With yep. a hat. Yep. All right, so then hold on. A Never fedora, mind. Uh, nonetheless. There is no uh no more imagination. It is indeed old. <laughs> you're you're dusting <laughs> off a classic. Uh and, uh doing the dance version of the history of fire eating. Right, right. And to as if to symbolize the bringing it forward like he was done in black and white <laughs> because this is like old version. It was like oh, old Brian doing the fire eating it was just like the old like <laughs> like the history of fire eating well it was a little more film noir and it was black i mean i do white. i do feel i can't i can't believe you've cornered what? me here what? but uh but yeah no 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 so so imagine a version of my fire eating act where yeah. I walk out in a t-shirt and I put on a kind of zoot suit looking double-breasted coat oh! And then I twirl on a fedora. Yep. And it's all done to the song Happiness by Tones on Tail, which I guess sounds like this. Here we go. So here, so I'm walking out. Hey, oh, whoa, what's this? A jacket on that Jack Nate? Ugh. <laughs> Wait, oh, what's this? A hat goes on? Oh, man. He's getting ready to do a fire eating act, I bet. Oh, looks like he's pausing as he grabs his torches and then he lights, lights a match. Oh, <laughs> look at that. 
oh my gosh, he's lit a candle and now he's spinning around a torch and tossing the flame from one to another and oh my. Yep. Yeah, so anyway, that's uh that was my senior college thesis. So then Oh, this was the college thesis. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was put oh, in somewhere. Oh, gotcha. Number one, we need to find it. We, uh, to we have it. We have it. We can explore it. It's all right. Fine. All right. Never all right. That'll be for so a different no, day. So no, not not now. Uh uh, I have more questions. Yes. Um <laughs> this was so totally silent, right? There's no narration. Right. No talking during it. Correct. It's just I mean, I mean the, 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 there's lyrics to to the song, you know, yeah. but but yeah, it's all yeah. just me, like, oh, now seems like a time you'd like to see flame go from a hand to another hand. Whoa! Applause okay. cue. How much dancing involved? Uh, I I wouldn't say dancing so much as periodically so like a, like a, like a, like leaning a, left and then leaning right and then mugging moves. and then backing away mugging. and then yeah. turning yeah. around a torch and so putting no, it in my like, mouth. So no like two step or anything just um, like to kind of like keep like motion like it's just more like exaggerated um, yeah, if, if sort of i like were to movement. describe it it would be kind of like like uh now i'm walking to the left and then i'm leaning to the left and i've held a torch look at that torch oh what the flame has moved from one torch to another now there's two torches lit whoa what's gonna happen no way he's gonna eat both holy shit He's eating both. Applause cue. Uh, all right, hold Walk on. on over and soak Brian. them torches. Yes. Uh, yes. Nazis have broken into the compound and they have a, a, so sorry a to hear gun that. to Bonnie's hand, uh, head and they're like, to you her need hand. to perform. To her hand. They're like, like she'll never make a crazy pick again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, 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 their only demand is that you do a, a, a like rock band style 80 percent version of how you did it when you did it uh, uh you know uh, at your height of performing it do you believe you could do it right now yes oh wait what's funny is i'm pretty sure bonnie means that she could do 80 percent of it yeah <laughs> bonnie could do 80 i am certain of it. i could do 90 percent of yeah, it yeah he totally could like right now you could do you could do 90 percent. i mean it. if you could find me a jacket and i could steal that sweet ass hat that she's wearing oh. I, I i think we could make something happen Oh, no. oh well hold on no no we can't have you do it now because we yeah. need to prime the audience of having of seeing you in your youth do it that's that's the i mean i mean my hair is almost primer. long enough oh, that i could put true. it back in a ponytail again yeah i, mean, I don't know your hair was in a ponytail Fucking, yes oh, this keeps yes. getting better <laughs> yeah man you know he could almost do the samurai sword trick again do you think that aged well yeah i don't know i uh, <laughs> uh i don't know how how well did uh we can use this as a proxy oh how well did the Saturday Night Live bit, uh, Samurai Cook bit age. Uh, I mean, cultural appropriation, but otherwise, I think it's absurdist. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's all agree that it aged just fine, and that any magic routines that were clearly just a ripoff of that were probably also fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, Bonnie. I'm sorry to put your your dream on pause here, Bro, but no, uh, we can move on. That's that's no, 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 no. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. I just have more questions uh, because we're, we're apparently in our friendship that has at least twenty percent revolved around magic and Brian's magic career. There are elements here that I have yet to be made aware of. So, uh, are any other acts? Any other acts that you'd like to tell me about, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> Man. Oh, he did the bra thing. No, I'm kidding. No, 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 no. Oh. I did not do the bra trick. Come on. <laughs> um... Let me see. Anything else that would go in that in that time period? No. I should really just be asking Bonnie because Bonnie's the one who's just giving me the real fucking tea. <laughs> <laughs> Let me think. Uh, I don't think there's really most of the stuff he did for that senior thesis wound up in the 
and act. I think those are the only two that kind of the stand only two out that have either yeah yeah like evolved or gotten cut. Right. Like, yeah. Or, 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 yeah, made it made it to somewhere else. Okay. So the Samurai Sword yeah. Act and the dancing version of the history of fire eating. How long did you do the dancing version, Brian, before you realized that you needed to add words like a I human and not suit it. suiting around, not mincing around the stage or, or, uh, uh, busking area in a zoot suit he i did it so every handsome. single second that i could before i realized how much easier it was to just talk <laughs> yeah <laughs> and like like you didn't have to worry about missing a music mm -hmm. cue or whatever or if a flame didn't leap or maybe it was a little bit windy outside or what have you like the moment i figured that out i was like all right well fuck all that then I yeah know. this I is mean garbage even your like uh even your your close up stuff was pretty solid. Like you would still do the things that you did in close up. I don't think there's anything you dropped, right? I don't know. I'm really curious why you're rubbing my laptop. Oh, over. it feels good. <laughs> okay. Um <laughs> yeah, uh I don't know. What was the question? I don't know. I mean, did you drop anything? Out of the no, not the close I, I, up I, routine. To, yeah. uh, I, I, I would say that, um, like at the time I was working with somebody else, and then it was like, well, shit, now I have to figure out how to do everything by myself, and then I did, and then that uh, that involved a lot of recreations. That it's unpleasant at the time to have to rewrite stuff that you're like, well, I thought that was pretty good. I, I'm glad that I wrote that. And then you have to do it all over again. Mm -hmm. But then the nice thing is, is uh, you stop having to split the money <laughs> because because you have figured out how to do it by yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, Bonnie, back yes. to the dream. Uh -oh. So Brian okay. is doing his dancing uh, uh, his, his dancing a history of fire eating act. Right. In black and white on a live stage. So. Is it like one of those live performances where you're in silver makeup and, <gasps> and the set is all silver and black? Like, or was this I was, magical? I was working it out when, like, I was actually trying to, I'm like, how did this work? And then my mind went off to trying to make that happen. Why, and it why was were like you the thinking big, of that and not whose wedding we were performing at? It wasn't important. Okay. Yeah. So, anyways, so, um, apparently there was like a purple screen in yes. front of Brian and the audience. So in order to see Brian, you had to view him through this. And then he stepped through it the magic thing was he stepped through the screen without ah. it breaking or you know it was like an effect of like look i can walk through a thing and, and then uh and then he came out and he was just like it, launching into new stuff like what wow what was it yeah i that's, don't know that's I'm, with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, oh. I'm with you man my notepad is out i'm ready to start writing this down <laughs> I don't know. I woke up and I I was scratching my head over the pink foamy dicks. <laughs> pink, yeah, the, the foamy dick. I mean, mm -hmm. what fucking hacks Ash and I are? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Brian's got this whole routine where it like walks from fucking black and white to it color did, with a it physical didn't even effect. It occur to me no what makeup. an insult body was delivering. She I was know. like, "So anyway, you and your wife are pretty much the shittiest phase of the Beastie Boys' career, oh. but yeah. my oh. husband." <laughs> is well, dancing in black and white and doing the fire. only thing that i imagine is that we are have the laziest <laughs> shittiest act it's just like that song that like do 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 but it's like me and ash in our like floppy dick outfits and we're just like kind of jumping side to side and uh and the crowd is dying like ah! but they are they loved it they loved ah! it dicks, dicks, dicks. <laughs> and then this like marvel of magic engineering happens right afterward and Bryant's in black and white and and there's like a significance because it's his old act versus like stepping through into the future and now he's in color and the audience is like oh, that's nice yeah 
thought that was kind of weird. It's a good. It's a good. It's a good. No, I like magic. It's good. It's man, good. those dicks though, man. Remember when the dicks came out and they were just dicks and they're flopping all over the place? Yeah, oh, you guys got big laughs. And Hilarious. I saw my grandma. My grandma was in there and she looked cool as shit. She was like some kind of New York. Holy shit. Yeah, which I don't usually think of my grandma as being like, you know. So, I mean, she's passed. But like, yeah, yeah. you know. No, <laughs> actually, we got footage from, from the dream. Oh, you did. <laughs> if you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion sits? There's two giant dogs. <laughs> I mean, there's only one way that can be made more offensive. <laughs> and it appears later in this video as we've determined on night and day. I don't know what that is. Oh, you don't? I do. Oh, my God. <laughs> Unexpected oh, blackface. On, so I don't see the. the <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Oh my God! Well, at least we know uh, uh, we know that even in Bonnie's dreams, uh, people have no fucking taste. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I got to grab a fish tail, and it came off on my hand, and it was really nasty. So I, don't I still even know don't what that know means. whether or not you were a part of an act, or whether or not, in the same way that, like, you know, some wedding receptions have a. a, a you know strolling magicians or balloon making or something that they just happen to have like a fishmonger station where a fish guy was just throwing you fish every once in a while yeah it was really weird it, it i was like this doesn't belong here get out <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways i can't COVID believe i didn't dreams, know about right? that i can't yeah i can't believe i didn't know about the dancing version oh no um, we'll, we'll explore it and in fact, maybe I'll perform it live for you. I'll, I'll, I'll bet I can remember it. I mean, it's 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 it, it's a fine fire eating routine. It, it just has like three or four moments where you have to hit. It's it, like a juggling routine. No, save this, save this, save this. Yeah. Uh, let's let's let, let's let's build it for Founders Day. Founders Day, oh! you'll do you'll 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 do the you'll do the the dancing version of this tree of fire eating. I don't know if I'll let him. He's so sexy when he does it. Uh oh! Uh -oh. Now I know why Brian kept doing it. That fucking <laughs> zoot suit draws pussy. Thanks. There we go. <laughs> there we go, man. Somebody mentioned today that this the zoot suit riot song. Oh wait, it was because somebody emailed me about the riots. That's oh. a bad oh, transition. Jesus. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, what a what a. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I, we don't need to honestly i feel terrible that i even brought it up like yeah I mean, obviously look let's let's acknowledge the fact that it happened let's acknowledge the fact that we're not trying to do anything other than give somebody an outlet uh uh beyond the the stuff here so let's acknowledge it obviously intensely painful uh of everything around it but you know we're gonna try and do our best to to yeah. give you something that's that's not that although we can on some level talk about around it uh the super radio uh, uh uh iconic dream team for which uh, uh nobody ever thought to ask for because it would be too audacious a dream rush limbaugh on the breakfast club this do you morning. know about this what are you talking about okay uh, you've heard of <laughs> rush limbaugh oh yeah okay go on Bonnie, have you heard do i i was on the breakfast club do you know your dad likes to give our children books written by him <laughs> Your dad almost assuredly has heard this interview and you have not, Brian. Oh my gosh. I, uh, uh, cause it definitely aired on the Rush Limbaugh program today. What is the Breakfast Club, though? I'm sorry, uh, I'm dumb. So, so the Breakfast Club is, uh, probably the biggest show of its kind, like, since Howard Stern, yeah. I would guess. Oh, like, okay. Uh, but, but it's but in the morning. A, yeah, they're a morning show on New York radio. Okay. Uh, and uh, they are political. Uh, it's a hip hop station. So it's obviously, it's uh, uh, three uh, black voices, but uh, they are, uh, you know, controversial. All the Democratic candidates always go on the Breakfast Club. Oh. Ah. Uh, and so this, I didn't even know this was in the wheelhouse of Rush Limbaugh to just go on somebody else's show. Uh, although it was on both of theirs, but certainly he's one dude and they're three people. It very much feels like a breakfast club interview of Rush Limbaugh. We have always had diverse guests 
and are open to the tough conversations. In that spirit, today we are having a candid conversation with fellow broadcaster Rush Limbaugh. Why are we having this conversation with someone whose historical viewpoints differ so significantly from ours and who we represent? Because the dialogue has to be open beyond who we know or who we talk to every morning. Today, Rush's listeners will hear us, probably for the first time ever. How do, how do you think that's landing with the Breakfast Club audience at this moment? Like, 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 is this a bit? Is this a joke? Oh, I think that there's a very deliberate, a deliberate strategy. This was apparently recorded over the weekend. There was a very deliberate strategy to them not announcing it on Saturday. Right. Uh, they announced it two hours before it aired. And I think that was deliberately because they didn't want the conversation to be about that they were doing it they wanted the 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 uh dialogue to be the story and that's why this is dj envy of of the breakfast club doing a massive coia pre-roll on just like here's why we're doing this i swear there's a good reasoning and i'd like to explain this good reasoning because we're not just gonna roll in and act like this is not something that a lot of people would be annoyed about Wait, do people do that? I, I, or is that their show usually? Do they bring in? They bring in a lot of higher up folks. But they, do they, they often bring in... do celebrities. Right. Uh -huh. uh, they, they really became famous because they would get great interviews out of like rappers, athletes, actors. Right. right. They and so they were very Howard Stern esque in that. Like that was like the point in which they would spread were because these interviews were longer form and pretty good. Uh. And so at that point, when they became a hot button for a actors and athletes and rappers, that means that now the Democratic politicians start coming around, routinely embarrassing themselves for the record, uh, and uh, entering new challenger, El Rushbow. Oh, my God. What we are witnessing in our nation right now is not normal, and it compels our attention to understand every side and look for ways to bring this country together and stop the senseless killing of our people. So we will start with a conversation that we think might be the first step. Ladies and gentlemen, Rush Limbaugh. Every Democrat candidate for president this year has made it their business to appear on the... So uh, I would assume there's a bit of a standoff where both parties know where it's like, I'm recording your recording, right? So neither of us are going to try to cut out any parts and get mm -hmm. busted on that. I imagine that they that this was deliberately pre-set up to be, we're going to record. You can do an intro. You can do an outro to, to you know set it up for your audience. But other than that, this time that we're recording is this time that we're recording. Where I think it's like in terms of an industry perspective, the only reason why this happens is because Rush Limbaugh is uh, impressed by the growth of the Breakfast Club. Mm. Like that's the only reason why this happens. Oh, because, because he just he smells like uh, like uh, oh wait this is this is power this is success this is the next big thing because mm. he doesn't do that. He barely goes on like Fox News or whatever. Like I, I can't remember the like Rush Limbaugh guesting on a thing that ever happens ever. Like uh, that dude is like he, he protects his brand, so you're the only place I mean, you can hear him is on his show. Quite honestly, the last time I remember him guesting on anything was guesting at the State of the Union to receive the Medal of Freedom. <laughs> Yeah. Like that, that's the most guesting I could think of him and he doing. Didn't, and he didn't do a tight five. Right? <laughs> like, ah, that's he so was just true. there. He was just standing there. You know what my my thought is? Hmm. Is they have a mutual friend. Like like Rush has a good, good friend who really digs the show. And he just didn't like. He's like, oh, no, 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 I think you guys would get along. There's zero chance. I'll bet you. Right, <laughs> There's now, zero Bonnie, chance Rush has friends. <laughs> well, no, no, no. This is definitely a radio thing, right? Okay. That some other radio exec that he's friends with that he probably golfs with in Palm Beach or some shit, right? Right. I'll bet you a while ago that this has probably been something that's been like general in a, on the radar of like, hey, you know what would really blow up? you know, uh, the radio and, and be crazy on the internet for a day is if Rush Limbaugh meets the Breakfast Club. Like, 
you know, like uh, 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 that would be a crazy thing to do. And Break then this the internet, happens. you say, as though I were to pull down my pants and balance a champagne bottle on my buxom buttocks. I understand. <laughs> I'm right behind you, Kanye. Let's begin. <laughs> Absolutely. So, and now it's it's my honor to appear on the Breakfast Club. <clears throat> Excuse me, even though I'm not a Democrat. <laughs> now, guys, let me, can, can, can I tell you why I wanted to? The George Floyd story is being lost. Right. Oh shit. Uh, yeah. No. Okay. All right. Now I'm seeing a little bit more. Where it's just like, uh, hey, can we please find? <laughs> let's 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 take two sets of people and just have a conversation that sounds like we can all be bummed <laughs> about this situation. Uh, yes. And that's where it could have gone. That's where initially I was thinking it would go is that this would be a, 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 a testament to even the, 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 the contentious breakfast club and the contentious Rush Limbaugh on either sides of the political spectrum can have a conversation in which they don't uh, yell at each other. And while things are necessarily heated by the end of it, it doesn't exactly stay there. Mm. Which I think, They're to be fair, for, for, for people who listen to either of these programs, I think if they did have a civil conversation where they, at the end of it, they each said, you want to know what? You're a fine person, Rush. And it's like, well, Charlemagne the God, you're also a swell fellow. Like, I don't think that either side would have been thrilled with that. So everybody Two gets things happening want. in America, and, and it's... It, it sickens me what happened to him. Legitimate national outrage about a policeman's criminal brutality has been hijacked. And I don't want to forget about George Floyd. What, what happened to George Floyd sickened me. And I wanted to reach out and tell you all this. I, I want to make sure you have no doubt. And I'm not the only American who feels this way. The senselessness of it. You, you don't. Is this like an apology tour on behalf of 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 white middle aged late whites? Right. Whites. Right. Is just. Mm. Uh, you know, I I think if I'm Rush Limbaugh, I'm thinking he's a very smart guy in terms of radio. He mm -hmm. knows that this is going to get framed as dunking on Rush as fast as they can get their handle around the interview and he's got 30 minutes to kill so uh uh i think that this was a a very deliberate opening salvo to say the point for which nobody could disagree with right yeah so okay so this is the inoculation where it's like let's not yeah. <laughs> let's not let a single passerby believe that this is going to be in any way a defense of the uh <laughs> definite second degree murder that happened yeah. third yeah yeah third, third yeah, degree third murder degree. first yeah. degree yeah. manslaughter uh, yeah although although yeah i mean he that actually is is, is discussed oh really all right oh. we're only given one life we don't get a do-over we only get one we all take it for granted because it you know it just happened. We're born, we don't even remember that. But George Floyd had his taken away from him. He didn't lose it. He had it taken away from him in a he senseless, stupid way. And I think most Americans are just as angry and sad about this as I am. And I'm also angry at the cops that stood around there and didn't do anything to stop it. It was just I can't tell you how frustrated it is, and I just I just wanted to share the emotion I have with you guys. Mm -hmm. about this and all right how much of this is obvious and how much of it is not obvious where should i skip to uh oh if you just go to the middle you, you're gonna you're gonna catch <laughs> oh some my God. Uh, you're, you're gonna catch some crossfire because for those of you who are not aware the breakfast club is made of three people the instigator and really the star of the show is charlemagne the god he's the guy who's interviewing joe biden when he said the you ain't black thing uh but he is the contentious one and really Angela Yee and DJ Envy each get their questions at the very beginning, but you're just like waiting. The big, the prize fight is Rush versus Charlemagne. Okay, <clears throat> I, I I did watch him walk uh, right past like uh, 
uh, use the word murder. And then he's just like, that sounds like a contentious issue that has yet to be. Anyway, it's me, Rush Limbaugh, blind and deaf. I'm just going to walk past that <laughs> one. My right to have oxytocin addiction. There's a lot of times. Oxytocin addiction? Oh, like, <laughs> he goes around hugging everyone always. <laughs> so there's no video that exists, and then people are, uh, police officers lie, and they say this is what happened, just like we've seen it happen so many different times where fortunately there was video. There's a lot of cases that won't make it. That we no, never hear about that don't guys, go viral. That you never hear about that uh, never I, make it I, to TV, that never make it to social media I think because you there is no phones. What I, no what I said, guys, video. pause it, pause it, pause it. Pause it. Uh, that comes after a conversation where uh, he's asked about the difference of police killing of white people and black people. And he says, uh, if, if George Floyd were white, you would have never heard about it. There's actually a moment before this that I don't know the time code on, or else I'd tell you to skip to it. But he is asked about Colin Kaepernick. Uh, about so how... upset about and the world said he's taking it too far and he doesn't know what he's talking about oh, here this go. is is this it this is it this is exactly it. This the is reason it. why he was kneeling and protesting the fact that an unarmed african-american man was doing nothing they still don't even know if he had a, a fake ten dollar or twenty dollar bill or not and he and that man kneeled on george floyd for damn near nine minutes and killed that man murdered that man Look, and looked at us like yeah i'm doing it and what i you guys, I'm trying to tell you, I'm all with you. I'm a thousand percent with you on this. this. Is why I wanted to talk to you because I know that that there are, you know, we all have. Uh... Pause it. That was the sound. Now you might not know if you weren't listening for it, but that was him rolling out of the pocket and avoiding the rush on talking about Colin Kaepernick. Like, he was in no way. The, the question was all about, hey, you were leading the charge on criticizing Colin Kaepernick, and now you're coming on The Breakfast Club so you can talk about how horrible this police brutality is. That's exactly what he was going for, and he just comes out of it, radio pro that he is. I'm, I'm agreeing with you. Of course his murder was bad. Nothing on Kaepernick preconceptions that we live under and biases that we live under. And I wanted to reach out to you guys specifically. You were you were the ones that I was told to speak to. He was informed. He was informed. Oh my God. Oh my God! <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is, anybody holds my feet to the fire on anything, I'm gonna perform way worse than that. <laughs> so, like, I have a certain empathy for anybody who is dumb and has to like defend themselves. <laughs> Red IQ nails <laughs> it. So... Who knows if there are any blacks that I can talk to? I it's me, a Rushbo. <laughs> E I B. God. The B stands for looking for black people. Oh. Talk to. Who should I talk to? It's me, El Rushmo. All right. Uh, does it go anywhere at the end? Uh, oh no, yeah. It, it starts to get uh, uh, contentious in the back. Uh, the back five minutes. Right, here we back go. Five. We're, we're just gonna jump right in here. You know who really love black people as much as they love black culture, and they're out there standing with black folks, and they want to fight with us. I think this is the tipping point, and we right now are at a point where we can finally force America to live up to its grand promises of liberty and justice for all, and I not just liberty and justice for white folks. It has. That's my back to the beginning of the ah, program. Russ. It has. It's out there. You guys have done it. Look, we're, we're out of time here. But would you guys like... <laughs> all right, first of all, you're the guest on another one show. You don't get to pretend that well, you're no, talking no, no. to it their is, Snurdly. No, you're like, no, I'm no, sorry, no. Snurdly is giving me the signal. We've got to take a crass commercial break. I mean, this is this is their, their agreed upon time because it aired on both shows. So. Yeah. I'd like to do this again where we pick it up right from this point and make a maybe make not a focus if, on not, white supremacy. Not not if we just gonna dance the whole time. If you if, if you if you're gonna have some honest conversation with us and stop telling us well, things now, like white privilege doesn't exist you, and you don't know what white supremacy is, if we could do that, yes. Well, Rash, I'm very not into having having time. these 
into <clears throat> having these conversations because I do think it is important for white people to acknowledge the hurt that they've inflicted on the African American community and to be able to come forward and admit that we can't even move forward until that happens. Yeah, well, we that's can, what we I was attempting to do here with, uh, honest, with, with all of you today on the white supremacy thing. I'm not in any kind of denial. I just know that it's a politically charged element of the Democrat Party's politics and liberalism. And I do not cave or compromise or give one iota of an inch to liberalism no matter what. So white, white supremacy or white privilege is a construct of today's Democrat Party and I'm not going to agree with any aspect of it as they put it forth. Um, I'm not denying that there are certain individuals out there who think they're better than other people, but structurally, institutionally, uh, white supremacy, that's it's right, a construct. You, 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 can't see, you can't see how white people are just treated better in this country than black people? Even just a is, is there something on the other side of this? Uh, I... I mean, there's there's more the there's more back. I mean, like it, it is a lot of this. Yeah, the whole thing is, you know, once they once they get out of uh, uh, some of the like, let let's agree that this is a horrible thing. Uh, uh, the, the 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 majority of their conversation is is this this version. I think I think it's it's just. Oh no no no! There is the MLK line. The MLK line. Uh, uh, all right. Wait, did he? As far as how many people get pulled over by the <laughs> police officers. Like, like we can how, have these conversations, man. but we got to be honest with each other. Like, you got to, you yeah, got to admit that. Disproportionately, black people you, you, you are getting pulled over. Disproportionately, up. they're getting shot no, by the cops. You, you set these things up. You have no idea how. If and I'm, I can imagine what mm -hmm. you're going to say. If I sit here and say you have no idea how I have been mistreated by various mm -hmm. elements, various groups, various companies, various individuals, my whole life, it's called <clears> life, Russ. and it happens. And we're all mistreated. I've been fired nine times in my career. But have, have you ever got thrown out th thrown out your car because you were driving a nice car? Have, have I you ever, ever got just patted a... down just for being black? Yeah, I've had I'm my sure car. I've, I've had my car either. keyed. I've had my. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh, it gets better. It oh. gets better. On that. Oh. Tires blown up. No. Of course. I'm talking about throw wow. out your car by a police officer because you're black driving a nice car or walking down the street in Queens, the area where you're from, and the police pulling you over and patting you down. Has these things happened to you? Don't talk For about no keying reason. a car. Not, I done got shot at. Not, they didn't shot up my car. Don't talk not, about you're, keying a car and, and popping mm, your tire. You're, I'm talking about you're, police you're not, officers you're not, pulling you out no, because you're black. See, I'm because a hermit. He did nothing. I'm a hermit and a recluse, and I don't, I don't go out and do all that kind of stuff. Okay. No, that kind of stuff has never happened to me. I'll grant you. I want to ask you one more question before we get out of here. All I've never, I've never had the cops assume that I am. Well, actually, no, that isn't true. I have been oh, pursued. Oh, Russ, stop. <laughs> I have been pursued off. by the cops. I was pursued by, absolutely, I have. But look, guys, let me Listen, thank you again question. for, no, no. I, let me thank you again for giving me the okay. time today and I'm having access to you and uh, at least the chance to talk to you. I do appreciate it. And maybe we it's can do good. it again. I look forward to it. Thank, thank you, Russ. I, and I again, do want to know why you think. Rest all, in peace, George all those Floyd. White, that's right. All, all those white kids out there on the front lines protesting and fighting with black people, uh, I salute them. And but why do you why do you think they're out there, Russ? Because they're fed up with what happened to George Floyd. They're fed up with this situation that will not stop, that caused all this and provided the opportunity for all this to happen. Mean the opportunity to protest and riot. There are more Americans fed up with it than you know. That's my point. What about America, though? You don't think that, that the, the fact that there's 40 million people who have filed for unemployment? Uh, the largest the largest unemployment rate since the Depression era? You don't think that they're fed up about that, too? Well, I already acknowledged that earlier in the conversation. You can't put 40 million people out of work. But I'm telling you that you have a lot of simpatico people out there. White people were marching in the 60s with Dr. King. There were, In fact, Dr. Right. King's death did not cause this kind of strife in this country. Martin, well, Martin Luther King Jr. is dead because of racism and white supremacy. Uh, well, okay. If that's your answer to everything, then I don't know how where we go. It is, though. It is. He's dead because he was fighting against racism and white supremacy. All right. That's why he's dead. Well, good thank, luck, guys. Thank I, you for I, uh, the conversation. Do <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I mean, you want to talk about a finishing move. <laughs> Like, like, what is literally anyone I mean, supposed dude... to say to that? <laughs> uh, uh, doy. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. I but, was but told even then, you're even the then you can't to say to. that you know, because then you're the asshole who went on their show. You're like, doy. <laughs> 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 also, the contra code is the best code. Am I right? <laughs> Are we just <laughs> listing obvious things? It's me, Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> I mean, it's remarkable that it happened. Mm -hmm. It's remarkable, like that that there was that clash and like. Uh, uh, it really is, and I haven't seen. I mean, I'm far more plugged into people that listen to the Breakfast Club than I am necessarily people who listen to Rush Limbaugh. Uh, but I, I think everybody probably got what they wanted out of it. Like, I, I, I think that the Breakfast Club fans. I mean, there's going to be some that will just be upset because you know Rush Limbaugh was platformed, but by and large, like they. The, the breakfast club crowd i think will have gotten what they wanted and i think that the rush limbaugh crowd will probably get what they want like it's uh uh it's kind of insane that it happened yeah i i, I suppose would, would it be wrong for me to just say i want this to happen every day like just i want i want nothing but 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 kaiju slugging it out at all times oh they, it, well in, uh... in fairly fair arenas there is there is an element of Twitch and there's an element of YouTube and everything that is like the debate culture, right? Or even like, you know, skepticism and atheism had a lot of this too, where it was like uh, uh, Christopher Hitchens debates somebody else, right? Because that's that's what you want. And I've always kind of had a little bit of a uh, uh, an arm's length distance. It's not my favorite thing. I don't like the idea that people, that ideas get embarrassed like in in that moment of rhetorical battle or whatever. But I'll be goddamned if I don't want to see Rush Limbaugh and Charlemagne the God talk again. <laughs> like I would, I would very much like for them to go and and understand implicitly that there is embarrassment on the line if you do not bring your A game. Like if you do not, if you do not roll in, uh, firing on all cylinders, you will be embarrassed because that is, you know, uh, uh two people who come from they, they practice different elements of of that battle but both are very quick and and very smart uh uh yeah i would like more who, who do you think suggested this where did this come from my thought is what we were saying earlier is that i think it was it's got to be some radio exec mm -hmm. who's like oh that and rush that rush knows right because those people have been around forever and rush probably knows all of them and they all probably golf together and at some point, this is something that's suggested, then gets activated after um after the 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 riots and stuff like that. That that they're like, all right, let's put it together this weekend. Yeah. No, I guess uh, I, I I guess it's it's sort of a an emergent I mean, she got fucked up enough over the weekend that it's unless, just like yeah. literally like can we do anything, anything. I'm baffled by this. Bring me. I need a black person to speak to. I, I, I've searched high and low. I, I can't. And in West Palm Beach, I cannot find a single black person. And I just need. Oh, I need a black person, please. I was told the, you were the snarly. ones to talk to. You are you are the people for whom I dialed black people into my phone and and this is this is the who picked up the line you guys thank you <laughs> uh double toasted rating uh with 126 people now just the last time. time they did this the time. last time they did this though they were actually still on I found that out later. They had not stopped. They just sent the audience over, and they are watching us now. Oh no! Although, so so if that indeed is the case, if that indeed is the case, and Corey and Martin are still watching, oh my god! Then gosh. hello, Corey. Hello, Corey and Martin. Apparently, speaking <laughs> with black people is the new thing to do, and I would just like to uh, welcome more black conversation. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, <laughs> God damn it. Well, well, now now I feel like we got to fill all six left of our minutes <laughs> with, with <laughs> valuable content. Oh, no. Okay, Brad. I can, you can borrow the hat and you can. <laughs> yeah, I could do, I could do the fire eating <laughs> dancing routine. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, awesome. Hi, everybody. So Double Toasted is watching right now? or so, uh, Last time, apparently, apparently that was the case. They were rating and then they were also doing commentary on what we were doing. Oh, so if that is the no. case again. Then, uh, then I'm happy, uh, happy to be a part of their content. Uh, I miss seeing people like hanging out with your friends, you know, being like <laughs> live in person with I other know. people. That was fun. That was fun. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, uh, at some point, I don't know. That was the other thing about all the protests. I mean, even beyond the riots, like literally, just like what does hundreds of people all going outside to be together? mean for the general psyche of like uh you know the the the, the shelter well, and, in place and, 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 and social yeah, distancing yeah. stuff well, well, and, so, and so so like like literal questions popping into my mind like taking action of civil unrest for an important issue good yeah gathering in large groups very close to each other bad wearing masks in large groups was bad now good i know that's so confusing <laughs> like, like like i don't <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh my gosh uh yeah you know it's um it's uh I, I, like i don't i my bigger question is like do people think different is it like well i mean we're already kind of having it mostly because the people that to me were the most strict about the quarantine stuff are also the people that would be very sympathetic to the George Floyd right. protests. Right. Well, and so it, it's and like it, it uh, uh, there was a photo. Let me see if I can find it. Um, somebody found. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this fucking photo. Um, uh, oh, nope. That's a uh, that is a hilarious take on it. Um, it said one. Uh, there we go. One Austin safer together is the billboard next to it. A dude shooting oh. down off a bridge, currently hitting somebody in a wheelchair. Oh, what? The Wait, they hit him with a in a wheelchair. Yeah. So so what it says happened? here. So uh, uh, the story says holy photographer cow. unknown, and then uh, first top comment. Uh, holy shit, that's me. That's my uh, 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 photograph. Uh, I don't care. Don't worry about credit or anything. Um, and then, uh, and then, you know, of course, uh, thank you, kind stranger, for the gold. Um, but, uh, mm. but, but, dude, they just full on were shooting beanbag rounds of people who were just down, down there. And uh, uh, man, shit's awful. It's awful. It's like I've never been more jealous of 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 two people off planet playing with a sparkly dinosaur while peeing in space diapers. I've never wished more that I could be one of those people. Oh, dude, yeah, no, they picked the right time to get the fuck out. <laughs> they were like, they're like, oh shit, wait, we get to leave, and then like they had they waited on Wednesday, and it was like already getting bad. They're like, ah, shit, come on, you sure we can't go? Yeah, sure. There's a few clouds. Let's just, uh, all right, wait till Saturday. Fine. <laughs> I was I was trying to find the picture, but there was this awesome picture of this guy skateboarding, and he was doing like this awesome move in front of a burning car in the background. And I was just like, "Wow, well, might as well make the most of it." Like, it is such a great picture. <laughs> uh, they, they they talk about that. There was a uh, book called uh, "The DV Rebel's Guide to Filmmaking," yes. and the idea they call it stealing a shot and. In one case, like they had already choreographed a like ninja fight scene or whatever. Right. And then just so happened that half of California was on fire <laughs> and they were like, seems like now's a good time to go steal a shot. So they yeah. go and then they get, they, they stand in front of full on forest fire and then they do their, their, their choreographed ninja fight scene and it looked fucking epic. I know. Like, I don't know, like, 
like in this time, I, I was trying to get my brain around why anybody would take their kids down because like it's such a violent time. Like I can't imagine, you know, oh, it's a peaceful protest. I'm like, is it really going to be peaceful? I don't know. I wouldn't take my kids to it, even if it yeah, was supposed no, no, to no. be. It, it, you know. This one seems a little more fired up than previous, or maybe maybe yeah. just everybody's better at their cinematography. But uh, but there's definitely social media posts where they're driving in, and they and, and and a group of cops say the words "light them up" and then shoot directly in the faces of, of people who are outside but on their own property like there's it, oh, it's pretty oh, yeah. bad yeah uh anyways i don't know but like <laughs> yeah. if you're a skateboarder you might as well get a really fucking good picture <laughs> of yourself because like that's right so you're you're part of history like that picture might have its life into like you know showing up in the it might be Text like one of those those, those iconic right. all time photos, right? Like, and you're gonna be mad this. that you didn't land the ollie. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh, like, no, yeah. he was gonna land it. He was on point. So, anyways, uh, I, I I think oh, yeah, it's no, interesting. Here, here, here we go. Let's go out on a positive note. Yeah. Here's the light 'em up video. Uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, oh, that's not positive. Yeah, wait, it's something. It's something. <laughs> So they're like, oh, wow. oh, so this is, yeah, this is in Minnesota. Okay, that is not They're my telling everyone right to get here. inside. Get inside! Get in your house now! Let's go! Light him up! Go inside now! Get, get in the house! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, like the the, <laughs> the headline I want to say that on Reason.com was like, uh, like like cops can't get enough of trying to prove why people are protesting cops. <laughs> like yeah. they can't seem to work hard enough to justify the outrage everyone's feeling with them. Uh, yeah, uh, man, I talked about it on in the free political newsletter and everything, but like I, there is there is. Trust would be the bare minimum. A functional working relationship with communities, I think, is something that that uh, uh, needs to be reestablished. Like, uh, and and all of the consequences therein, including class and racial and 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 everything, I think, will be better for it. But uh, there is, you know, unless you're calling nine one one and there's an active problem are you rarely excited to see a cop for a lot of really 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 dumb adversarial reasons and and i don't think that i think that this is a lot of reaping what what they have sown and i don't mean the officers directly i think that there's like a culture around it but uh you know it's 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 hard when people are like oh yeah well like think of all the things that the cops do and it's like yeah you're right also nobody likes you and the only time that they interact with you is when you're fucking causing them money or making them go to jail um it's it's just it's a bad it's a bad time uh all right look what is the happiest thing that we could possibly reset our palette with oh no uh don't we have like that that reddit where it's just like eye bleach or eye bleach or something yeah <laughs> um okay hold on we just need we just need something to reset everything uh, oh wait uh, all right here we what go. yeah come on <laughs> this will work this will work it's gonna work i don't know it's gonna work it's gonna work here we go we love you guys love you everything's gonna be fine Wake up, eat some coffee, put some fish sticks in the toaster. Then I do my exercises. Then I eat my fish stick sandwich burrito. Fish sticks, fish stick sandwich, fish stick sandwich burrito. I eat healthily, I exercise regularly, I do head lifts. Head downs, arm wiggles, I'm having a brain aneurysm.